G'day everyone, um, Jim Q1 here, Guy. Um, look, I uh, just wanted to talk about a series I'm going to do, um, so a five part series on some of the biggest gold nuggets ever found in the world. Um, this is sort of the lead up to the 150th anniversary, the finding of the biggest one, which was the Welcome Strange that was found near Maligal. So in the five part series, um, we're gonna be looking in the area known as the Golden Triangle in Victoria, um, which is the, basically the richest gold field uh, in the world, but also looking at a smaller triangle where a lot of these very, very large gold nuggets have been found, you know, up to two and a half thousand ounces, and obviously the current gold price of about $1,700 an ounce. Um, very nice finds if you could actually get to them. So the area that I'll be looking at so in the, in the five nuggets that we, uh, or the five finds and that we'll be looking at, uh, is basically in an area that's sort of bounded by uh, Tarnagulla to the east, across to Maligal, where the Welcome Stranger was found, and then up to um, Kingau, where the largest nugget ever found with a metal detector was found. So what I'm going to take you through is if, uh, give you a little bit of a history of the the towns or the, the areas nearby. Um, we will also have a look at the geology. So I'll be putting together a few maps and showing you how you can use sort of um, Google to actually overlay some of the uh, old maps there. And also obviously talk about the, the finds. So we actually go actually physically in the area or the broad area where these are find, found. So you can actually physically see what uh, the ground looks like. Um, the other part about this is all of these five nuggets could have been found by one of these. Which is a, this is a GPX 4500, mind that. Um, but any, uh, any reasonable new gold detector these days would have found all five of these nuggets. So there's a, just a couple of things. Obviously, not obviously, but this area has both um, public land or crown land, which if you have one of these, or probably actually a newer one of these, but a miner's right. You're, you can actually go into these areas and hopefully find something maybe a little bit bigger than this and closer to um, what the other, these nuggets that we'll go through uh, are. The, so there's one thing I will a cavity on this, is that this is an area that's got a lot of private land and you're obviously not allowed on that private land um, you don't want to get picked up for, for trespassing, so please don't try to jump fences. Um, the reason for this is, is quite clear, because it's, it's number one, it's against the law. Um, but it doesn't obviously help um, the rest of the prospectors that are out there. There's plenty of um, public uh, land out there to go through, and you basically will get caught. You know, maybe maybe 30 years ago, you might have got away, got away with it now, but um, each and every one of the... Uh, Property owners has one of these, and within minutes, the old bush telegraph, and you'll either be met by the local copper, or the um, or the property owner, probably by the time you've actually tried to try to go over the fence. So please don't use any of this information to to trespass into areas that you're not supposed to. Um, I really really hope you enjoy the five part series, and um, yeah, looking forward to um, to sharing the on ground experiences with it and. Please feel free to uh, make comments and, and, and ask, ask a few questions about it. Let's go to part three and the well-named Precious Nugget. Okay, well, welcome to, well, what's behind me is Berlin Flat where the uh, Precious Nugget was found. So, a little bit about this area. It was renamed a few, you know, it was Ber Berli and but it was originally the Berlin uh, gold fields, which rush started here about a little bit later than most, about 1868. And uh, the town of Riola was renamed about 1876. Uh, so the post office and so forth. So, um, so behind me is the Ber uh, basically the Berlin flat, as they as they know it. Um, and again, one of the richest alluvial pieces of ground. Um, probably in the world so
was just looking out there, and as you can see, there's a uh, oh, I just missed it. Big uh, witch tailed eagle just just uh, took off. So just a little bit around the geology. So again, this is very very shallow alluvial ground. Probably uh, hits bedrock at about about five meters, and um, yeah, so. A number of the larger nuggets here were basically sitting on the Hornblenic uh, rock or the uh, within the that sits within the uh, granite uh, bedrock around here. So again, this is obviously private property and so forth, but um, it's quite amazing when you actually. You know, I'll just show you some of the alluvial ground that we're just in here. You can see there's a lot of uh, again, so this is sort of you know really rich conglomerate. To show this off is a lot of pressure and so forth once the uh, um, gold was formed many 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 million years ago there's some nice little bit of quartz with the uh, the red staining and ironstone through it so some nice indicator rock there so yeah really really yeah uh, yeah really really a quite an interesting place and a very very rich place but um, as you can see how just how smooth some of these some of the quartz are it's almost like a perfect circle G'day, so a little bit about the precious nugget. So this is quite a, quite an interesting nugget. So uh, size was about 1621 ounces. Uh, it was found on the 5th of January 1871. Um, and it's actually quite, the, it, the, the naming of it again is obviously with strange names. So this is named the precious nugget after the uh, owner of the land whose name was Precious C. Williams, so I don't know whether that was the wife or the, uh, I don't think there'd be too many blokes called Precious in those days. So, yeah, quite, an, again, another quite thing. But the interesting part about this one is it was actually found by um, R. Chung um, and, and his party. So, the interesting part about that, if you go through the history of all the uh, large nuggets found, it would have had to been the biggest nugget ever found by a Chinese party, which is um, which is quite interesting because the Chinese um, were not not so much ridiculed but bullied around the gold fields. And the, I suppose the, usually what 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 you'll find is the Chinese would come in after the Russia Russia had finished, and they're, they're very very meticulous and used to clean up and still do do quite well for themselves. So you see, they find them find them there, or where the actual new rushes are, usually right next to where the uh, uh, the uh, police or um, the commissioner's office were, where they thought they had some sort of protection from the uh, from the other other miners. So yeah, so it's quite an interesting story. So so there you go. So the, um, while the Chinese do did do a very good job of um, cleaning up a lot of the um, rush gold fields. Um, one of the parties was lucky enough to find one of the uh, biggest uh, nuggets ever found in the world. Oh, sorry, the other couple of little things. So this is what's actually called Cato's Paddock behind me. Um, if you and you can see from the maps that I've actually got that there. And yeah, the nugget was found around two meters in depth, um, which some would say is really, really deep. Metal detectors can't reach it, but uh, given the size of the nugget. I'm pretty sure it would have been found with uh, some of the better gold detectors these days. Cheers.